So, I mean, it's a straightforward program. Uh, if you're advanced in encoders and everything, you can also just come back over here and mess with everything. Let's see. You know, you have a uh, output the same folder as source file, then copy folder instructions or whatever. So, anyways, like I said, uh, so once it's all converted, what you're gonna do is, like I said, uh, go to your drive, your where your SD card is. I'm sorry. <coughs> And you're gonna make different folders. Now let's say you don't have to do it like me. So let's say you have maybe like 500. All you have to do is create five folders. Simple as that, guys. Really. Now why did I do mine like this? Well, simple enough. I have five thousand. I have over a thousand MP3s. So sorting them out into alphabetical order really helps me in the long run um, to find which song I want, what song I don't have. You know, especially if I download songs off the internet, or uh, YouTube, or whatever, or I have a CD I want to uh, put onto the DSi, it helps. And it's a 4 gigabyte card, uh, this card. And, you know, I do have an 8 gigabyte uh, mini S uh, micro SD card with a SD card expansion. So, I mean, if that's the worst case scenario, I'll just use that. I mean, my Derek's not working right anyway, so I'm going to be using the DSi as a music player. And it's really not a bad way to use it as a music player. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. It's not a bad music player. So this is uh, Skipzoa. I hope this was very helpful. Once you create all those files, uh, folders, and add all the files to it, you're going to take it out. And then you're going to remove the SD card. And then you're going to put it back into your DSi. Okay, guys, I'm back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the SD card into the DSi. Let's just turn this on so I can actually see what I'm doing over here. Because my camera doesn't give me good light. You see how this is now? What you're going to do, if you didn't notice earlier, you're going to put the SD card face down. You're going to put it face down. And if you guys need help, just remember, top screen, you, you want it to face the top screen. The back, the little golden pinned on the SD card. It has to face the top screen. So now what you're gonna do is push that in until it clicks. And you just inserted an SD card into your DSi. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it and turn it on. Now let me show you guys what I was talking about with those headphones. So let me just unplug the headphones from my computer. So now, let's get to the music player. So now what's going to happen is, when you go to your music player, this is always going to happen. You've seen it happen before. Tap this. It's always going to read the SD card because it doesn't store any data. And there you go. If you did it right, you should see all your folders and the songs should play. And you would see all the songs on top. Now like I said, if you have a big SD card like me, 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, it's going to take a little bit for the screen to load. So now here, what I'm going to do is go to uh, F2 again. And it's going to read the SD card because it thinks I uh, switched everything. Or anything, so it always check. So now what we're going to do is you play the song. Now, uh, so here we go. Uh, when you close it, nothing. And I'm going to plug in the headphones. <laughs> Here's the headphones, as you can see, nothing. Yeah, I'm trying to show you guys that I'm not bull spitting you guys. So here's the headphones, now what happens, watch what happens when I open it. Hear them? Now I'm going to close the DSi. Can you see how they're still playing? Now I'm going to play with the volume button. Show you that still works. See? So there you go guys, that's basically it. Uh, if you did everything right, you have your little DSi iPod. <laughs> And then you can play with all these little nifty features in here. 
I have a video where I already showed this off on my other YouTube account, and I will be finding that and posting it for you guys. So keep an eye out for that. I just remembered to show you this because I was telling one of my one of the people I'm subscribed to on YouTube how to do this. Uh, Neek 24/7. I was trying to explain her how what you have to after you do the music, what you have to type to get uh, select when you, to get all the music to play. Now, uh, when you get out of this, uh, you'll come to this. Like I said, when the DSI loads it, if you hit auto. Okay, just telling you guys now, if you hit auto, it'll play all the songs from all these folders, and I'll prove it. You guys know I have it up with the ties. You guys have guys seen it. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to lift this up. There you go. I know it's not a big deal, but I want to show you guys real quick. C, E. R N S T F I J. So you get the idea. It'll as long as you hit um, auto, it'll go through all your songs, all your folders, and there you go. And like I said, another another reason well, I didn't say this before, but there are another reason why I have it set to auto alphabetical if I ever want to just come to uh, let's say if I want to listen to flow uh, no sign by flow just go to F and there you go and that's what I'll play so there you go this was how to get your DSi uh, how to get your music on your DSi I hope this wasn't too confusing for you guys this is Skipazella and I am out